Welcome back everybody. So I've got this Model 700 chambered in uh, .30-06. I've had this rifle since I was in high school and uh, I've always had trouble keeping good groups with it. Uh, I've changed the uh, I've changed the uh, scope setup in the past and there's just nothing I could do to to really get a good group out of this gun at 100 yards which was a problem for me. And uh, I think a lot of the reason was just because of how bad it kicked. This gun just kicks the living daylights out of you. It's unbelievable. It's like shooting a three and a half inch turkey magnum every time you shoot it. And uh, I think that contributed to uh, not being able to shoot very good groups with it. So what I did is I sent it off to my buddy Shane in Kentucky and he's uh, opening up a gunsmith shop and he had him put a brake on it and uh, he tuned the trigger up as well so this trigger is unbelievably unloaded but I mean just smooth as smooth can be and uh, he did a lot of fine-tuning with the gun and uh, I just got it somewhat dialed in and we're gonna shoot a three round group at 100 yards and see what we can do with it and then we're gonna go see if we can find a woodchuck eventually with it so let's go ahead and get three rounds in here and see what we can do. Okay, let's go check it out and see what we got down range. Okay. That's what we got. We had one that was kind of a squirter there, but we have two in the uh, dot right there, which I'm okay with. I think I must have just jerked a little bit on that one, but these two are, are exactly what I want out of that rifle. So finally able to shoot better groups with it. And let's go for a ride and see if we can't find the very first woodchuck of the year. Uh, I've been itching to shoot one. I haven't had the opportunity to even pull the trigger on one yet, so let's let that at six bark on a live critter. What do you say? I say before we head out, let's see if we can make this uh, bull and pin dance. Well, Kaylee and I went for a walk, or not a walk, a ride on the Pioneer this afternoon. I looked all over for a woodchuck this morning and never found any. And uh, we found one right over here on the edge of our pasture and I shot at that one. Don't know if I got it. And then I looked over and there's another one standing up in the middle of the pasture. So I shot at that one and that one took off running. So I know I missed it, but let's go see if I hit this first one. And then I'll owe you some push-ups on the second one. But the SOT 6 is shooting good, so if I'm missing, it's on me, not on it. We'll go check it out. I think you shot over it. I saw where you hit way out past. 
Okay, everybody, the first one I shot at was right here somewhere. There it is, right there, we got it. The very first chuck of 2021 for me, right there. What do you think, babe? You did good. That was the very first pull of the trigger on a chuck this year and we got it killed. Looks like the round went in right behind the, or that's the Audi, right there. Yeah, well, it's doesn't have any hair right there. Any would have been right in here somewhere. Dead chuck though, nonetheless. That's a big one too, probably pregnant. Big female, I bet. Let's see. Yep, it's a female. Guarantee it's full, full of little chucks, so that's a good one to get killed. That other one was right out here in the middle of the pasture, so let's go. I think I'm, well. No, we know, you owe push-ups. Yeah, it ran, so. Maybe we should up the ante, maybe you owe 15. How many? 15. No, let's stick to 10. Sometimes I get carried away. Then you can get strong. You can see these woodchucks cause all kinds of problems right here on the fence lines, digging these huge holes, and they always seem to do it right at the base of these fence posts, and then the fence posts, as you can see, start leaning, but there's some splatter all over right there from that round hitting it. It's a good way to start the chuck season off, though, with a, with a hit. It's too bad I missed that other one, but maybe when we go up there that he'll come uh, sticking his head out and we can take it out. We'll see. Well, we uh, checked out the second chuck shot and I definitely uh, missed on that. So true to my word, I owe you 10 push-ups. For everybody that is not familiar with my YouTube channel, whenever I miss, I give everybody 10 push-ups for my miss. So uh, we'll go ahead and knock them out and see if we can't find any more. Let's go find another one. <laughs> 